with Cassiana. I'm probably not saying that real well, but it's the best I can do. Copper plant. Okay. When I think of copper plant, this is the form that I consider to be the one that I typically think of. Okay. This is a variegated green and yellow form that is uh, not that far away from the typical copper plant that I consider in my mind. And then this is one that is almost completely different. So it's a little confusing, but I just want you to know that that is a copper plant. Okay? The ones that I, I focus mainly on are these uh, two right here. Okay, so copper plant, again, one of those plants that can't handle our winters here. If you leave it outside, it'll, it'll just die. Uh, a little bit farther south from here, you can leave it outside. It'll die back and come back in the spring, late spring to summer for you. Uh, down in the valley, a lot of times, you can see these grown uh, year-round. So it's not a, they'll, they'll remain everything. Uh, copper plant is, always has this margin on the leaf. So almost dentate. Uh, two for sure. Okay, so and you'll also feel that it's, it's it's relatively rubbery, kind of plastic-like. If you feel that, we'll pass this around. And on the back side of the leaf, the veins are raised, and it gives a sort of a rib feel if you rub against the, uh, the leaf. Okay. On most of the uh, forms, you'll have this acuminate tip. Okay. So remember that it's sort of, uh, it's almost like an acute tip that was stretched out. So you have a very acuminate tip there. There's uh, margins on this particular leaf virtually all the way around, which on a lot of leaves we see where the margins only occur on the upper third or upper two thirds of the leaf. The, lot, the bottom third or two thirds a lot of times won't have a margin. On this particular leaf there's margins, uh, the dentate or tooth margin all over. Okay, copper plant is monoecious, meaning, anybody? It has both. It has both. It's so. Nice. Okay. I appreciate the participation. So, you've got male and female parts on uh, a particular plant, okay? Uh, typically, a lot of these tropicals, the male flowers are the showy ones. The female flowers are less showy. And I'll refrain from making any sort of a... I don't know. I'll refrain from saying that about humans. I, I said that one time and I, I always kind of stick my foot in my mouth. You know? And hopefully my wife won't see it. Okay. But anyway, this sort of rat tail like catkin thing, flower, uh, some people like it, some people think it's really trashy. Uh, I sort of ride the fence on this one. I guess when I grew up I saw some uh, copper plant that was used up in East Texas and probably not using the right spot or and I kind of grew to dislike it. But it's not bad if uh, you have a tropical landscape and it's something that you want to do. Okay? So, yeah, this is also, I believe this is what y'all see. Now, this is the only one I'm not sure about. This is a, an acolytha a copper plant with the uh, cultivar autumn embers. And I, I, I regret to say that I didn't look that up and make sure that it was what y'all on. But I know for sure that these two are. So what I want you to do is focus on these two, okay? But the main thing is to realize that there are all sorts of different shapes, many different, uh, many different sizes of leaves, many different colors of leaves, okay? So you see some that are extremely rounded, all right, very round, with a cumulative tip. Some that are more, uh, well, I guess just smaller. This modeling, this sort of pink and, and green and brown modeling is, is very uh, characteristic of, of that particular type. Okay. Copper plant, again, uh, here as a summer annual, you'll see it reach sometimes five, six foot tall. Where it's native, it gets much taller than that. Questions? <laughs>